Hey Guru Nation, how's it going? Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share. If you don't know what to comment, it's very simple. Just put a robot emoji. It helps us out with the algorithm tremendously. Today, I actually got a question from somebody in my CRC Academy who's interning with me remotely, helping me set up an e-source and an e-regulatory for my site in Yuma, Yuma Clinical Trials, Yuma, Arizona. And the question from her is, hey, why does this study have blinded staff and unblinded staff? I thought every study or most studies are double blind. So this is another, see this is why it's good for me to interact with interns and students because yes, double blind and blinded staff don't necessarily mean the same thing and this could be confusing so this is why it's good for me to do this so I can make these videos not just for the students but for Guru Nation as well. So every now and then I would say about 10% of the time a study will come along that's double blind but it will require blinded and unblinded study staff. Why? Sometimes, usually it's because it's going to be obvious to the unblinded staff which patients are receiving placebo and which ones are receiving the treatment or the therapy. Um, I've seen this blinding requirement in the case of infusion studies where only the person administering the infusion uh, is actually unblinded so they'll actually know because they can tell by the color of the liquid that the patient's receiving placebo or treatment right even though the sponsor can try to like do their best to mask the um, color in that case the person can still tell and could still potentially break the blind so that's why they want unblinded staff for that particular scenario. Another scenario is efficacy. So sometimes you can just tell, you know, if a patient's condition, and I'm trying to do this without giving away the indications, but if a patient's condition is not getting better or is getting markedly better, there's a potential for unblinding. So in this case, you'll have unblinded staff and blinded staff. You'll have unblinded staff doing the efficacy assessments and you'll have blinded staff doing the safety assessments. So in the case of my study, I'm the lead coordinator. I'm blinded, so I'm doing only safety, same as my PI. We have a sub-investigator and a coordinator for the sub-investigator that are unblinded doing the efficacy. So Blinded staff have nothing to do with double blind, right? That they could be, they could occur together at the same time. And every now and then, 10% of the time, that's what happens. You'll have a double blinded study where patients are blinded and the staff are blinded, but you'll also have staff that are blinded to some assessments and some staff that are unblinded to some assessments as well. So just a little something I wanted to clear up for you. I know it's confusing. Let me know if you understand this in the comments below. Maybe you can explain it better than me. Thank you Guru Nation. Bye-bye.